Oh, such a delicate touch. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont and Vermont Tourism. My name's Ava Salberger, and this here, who are you? This is Orion. <laughs> Mr. Orion. And we are here at Spread Too Thin Farm in Ferrisburg, Vermont. Hey babies. All the horses pretty much that we have had here, with the exception of Twinkles and Orion, they've all had issues. And they've all been horses that nobody else wanted to deal with. Oh, look at that run. You know, people always ask me, oh, do you ride your horses? Well, obviously not. <laughs> yeah, you know, I do, I drive two of them, but I really just love to be around them and I love taking care of them. Hey, Twink Twinks. How are you, little superstar? So these four little ones, and then Zeke is our newest addition, who is the Belgian that people see at Shelvin Farms. That's a good boy. Okay, little one, big guy, come to me. Come on, get, 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 get. And then we've got five rabbits, two cats, and one dog right now. We call our farm Spread Too Thin Farm. Everything I do, I do for these guys. I would work and play the whole day through If I could hurry home to you For you've brought a new kind of love to me Look what I've got, Mr. B. You know, you're so brave. Look at you. Look how brave you are. Well, when I first got Baggins, you couldn't get anywhere near him. Like, if I walked, like, this close to him, he would take off at a full gallop. He didn't want to come anywhere near me. He was at New Holland Auction in Pennsylvania, and he was in the kill pen. Like, he, they had given up on him. And I didn't know that he was wild until he got off the truck here. He was like that for about a year. You know, I was getting nervous because if I needed to catch him, you know, if he got hurt or if he got loose, there was no way I was going to be able to catch him. So I contacted Gentle Touch Training out of Colchester. She suggested that I put Baggins in a, in a very small space so that he can't get away from me all the time. So this was his, what I called his solitary confinement. He was a tough one to crack almost two months and the only contact he had was me you know I would bring him food and bring him water and I would sit with him I would just talk about my day and I'd share a beer with him <laughs> the little steps like the first time I was able to scratch his butt you know I came running in the house you'll never guess what happened today and they're like we do a fist bump every morning and that's how we say hello so he's really come a long ways and I'm really happy that we can have him out of the solitary confinement and back with his friends. And my mom worked at the University of Vermont in the labs there doing research on livers. So we raised rabbits and mice for the university. I put two and two together that these were all being raised for scientific experiments. I think that's where my sense of rescuing came from. So Pompidou had been hit by a car and he came from a hoarding situation. Of course, I wanted a pony at that time, so I treated him kind of like a little miniature horse and I'd set up this jump course out in the yard. This was my first Zeke and he was left at a boarding stable for a year. The lady that owned him just left. He was elderly, but he was a nice horse. And this is my Percheron Beth, and she came from a hoarder south of here. She also was quite old. This is Molly Sue Rat Dog. Oh my goodness. She was never let out of her crate, 24 hours a day. We got her when she was 18 months old and she'd never been free. I kind of feel like every time you lose an animal, your heart gets a little crack and then you get another animal and it doesn't heal it, but it fills it enough so that you can keep going. <laughs> Anna Mule is a pony mule. Anna's pretty blind. She had been passed around a lot. She had a teammate and they were driven a lot. But when I got her home, I didn't realize quite how rough of shape she was in. She was quite a bit thinner. We found that her whole inside of her mouth was full of ulcers from her teeth being so long. And for Anna Mule, her vision is so bad. She, you know, she has a hard time telling whether she's bossing a horse or the <laughs> watershed. Yeah. So Twinkles has had to take on that role of the herd mare and this is where we're gonna go and this is how we're gonna get there. And 
And this is the smallest. The smallest horse. one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The smallest one with the biggest attitude. This is Zeke. I own him now, but he'll live here in the winter. Then he'll go back to Sheldon Farms for their season. My hope is that he and Zeke, the big guy, will really hit it off and he can go live at Sheldon Farms this summer so that Zeke won't have to be by himself. I can't imagine life without pets. I just can't imagine. Baggins is right behind you, so it's perfect. Baggins is behind me. That's amazing. I couldn't believe how friendly to me Baggins was, how, how he approached me as much as he did, considering how timid he is. You know, some people, when they get out of work, they, you know, they go out to dinner or they go to the bar or something to unwind. <laughs> the best place for me is in the hay room and just listening. I don't even have to talk to them. Just listening to them being content makes my life whole. You're my judge and jury, what do you assure me? What is the verdict? My fate is in your hands. You can follow the adventures of Mr. Baggins as recorded by Twinks and as typed up by the Hayfeeder on horsecollaborative.com. And we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and sign up for our episode alerts because you don't want to miss one. You want another cookie? Come here. You don't want another cookie? It's right here. I don't know. Twinkles. Twinks, twinks, twinks. Oh, hi. I can't focus on you. You're too close to me. I can't focus. Yeah, I'm too close. Are you going to eat me? Are you going to eat my microphone? I know it looks so yummy. <laughs> What do you think? This whole video is gonna be about you, buddy. What do you think about that?